I am going to discuss the Holiday model proposed by Robin Holiday in 1964. It demonstrates how homologous recombination can occur in eukaryotes during mitosis to exchange genetic material. Here we have two homologous chromosomes. This means they have the same genes in the same order along the chromosomal arc. The top strand has all dominant genes and the bottom has all recessive. The sequence of genes is similar along both strands of DNA. Note the 5' prime to 3' prime directions of each strand. An endonuclease cleaves a single-stranded break in both 3' prime to 5' prime strands. Note, each B region has a homoduplex region. This means all base pairs are matching with a single base pair difference between the dominant and recessive genes. Here we have strand exchange. This can happen because the sequence of genes is so similar between the two chromosomes. This cross that happens is known as the Holiday Junction. This is where the exchange of genetic material is occurring. We also have ligation, which is the formation of a phosphodiacid bond here and here. Now, branch migration will occur. The base pairing is happening due to the hydrogen bonding that encouraged each pair of strands to join into a double-stranded DNA. A heteroduplex is now formed in the B region. This means there is a slight mismatch in gene B for both recessive and dominant genes. It must be repaired by an enzymatic correction system which will identify it, excise and replace it with a complementary base pair. This allows for genetic diversity. The holiday juncture will be isomerized. This means it will rotate to create this cross shown. The way it resolves itself will give us information regarding how A and C regions will react. We already know that the B is a heteroduplex, but we will further discover whether crossing over occurs. If resolved in the north to south direction, we will get splice products with crossing over and recombinance. Is where we see crossing over of the dominant C's and the recessive C's. If resolved in the west to east direction, we receive patch products. This means there is no crossing over, but we still have heteroduplexes in the B genes present.